it's fairly uncommon to have colorectal diagnosed in someone under 50, but it's certainly uh, possible. And the people who are younger often have a family history, but not always. But the median age is somewhere in their 60s and 70s. There are multiple causes for colorectal cancer that have been uh, uh, found over the years. One of the primary causes relates to family history. So patients who have a first degree relative or multiple first degree relative have a higher risk of developing colorectal cancer over their lifetime. There are certain diseases that increase your risk of developing colon cancer. Uh, one in particular, uh, or one category in particular are the inflammatory bowel diseases like ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease relatively increases one's risk of colorectal cancer. And then there are things that are more modifiable that can increase your risk, of, that can relate to your risk of colorectal cancer. Those include obesity, increases one's risk of developing colorectal cancer. Physical activity decreases one's risk. Certain dietary things like high, diets high in red meat will increase one's risk of colorectal cancer. Um, there are certain agents that help prevent colon cancer like a daily aspirin use. Postmenopausal hormones uh, decrease one's risk of colorectal cancer. They have other risks that have led them to be less popular these days, but they actually do also decrease the risk of colorectal cancer. Vitamin D, so people who have higher levels of vitamin D, have a lower risk of colorectal cancer.